Triple A pronounced Triple A is an informal classification used for video games produced and distributed by a mid-sized or major publisher, typically having higher development and marketing budgets. In the mid-2010s the term AAA Plus began to be used to describe AAA type games that generated additional revenue over time in a similar fashion to MMOs by using software as a service methods, such as season passes or expansion packs. The term is analogous to the film industry term. Blockbuster. Topic History. The term Triple A began to be used in the late 1990s when some development companies started using the expression at gaming conventions in the U.S. By the seventh generation of video game consoles, late 2000s, triple A game development on the Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 game consoles typically cost in the low tens of millions of dollars, $15 to 20 meters, for a new game, with some sequels having even higher total budgets. For example, Halo 3 is estimated to have had a development cost of $30 million and a market marketing budget of $40 million. According to a white paper published for EA Games Dice Europe, the seventh generation saw a contraction in the number of video game developing houses creating AAA level titles, reducing from an estimated 125 to around 25, but with a roughly corresponding fourfold increase in staffing required for game development. During the seventh generation, AAA or Blockbuster Games had marketing at a similar level to high profile films, with television, billboard, and newspaper advertising, a corresponding increasing reliance of sequels, reboots, and similarly franchised IP was also seen, in order to minimize risk. Costs at the end of the generation had risen as high as the hundreds of millions of dollars, the estimated cost of Grand Theft Auto V was tilde at $265 million. The same conditions also drove the growth of the indie game scene at the other end of the development spectrum, where lower costs enabled innovation and risk-taking. At around the period of transition from 7th to 8th generation of consoles the cost of AAA development was considered by some to be a threat to the stability of the industry. The failure of a single game to meet production costs could lead to the closure of a studio. Radical Entertainment was closed by parent Activision despite selling an estimated 1 million units on console in a short period after release. Ubisoft game director Alex Hutchinson described the AAA franchise model as potentially harmful, stating he thought it led to either focus group tested products aimed at maximizing profit, and or a push towards ever higher graphics fidelity and impact at a cost of depth or gameplay. The eighth generation of video game consoles PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Wii U saw further increases in costs and staffing. At Ubisoft AAA game development involved 400 to 600 persons for open world games games, split across multiple locations and countries, the desire for profitability caused publishers to look at alternative revenue models, where players continued to contribute revenue after the initial purchase, either by premium models, DLC, online passes, and other forms of subscription. In the mid-2010s large publishers began a focus on games engineered to have a long tail in terms of revenue from individual consumers, similar to the way MMO games generate income, these included those with expansion or season pass content such as with Destiny, Battlefield, and the Call of Duty series, and those which generated revenue from selling in-game items, sometimes purely cosmetic, such as Overwatch or League of Legends. Titles of this type are sometimes referred to as AAA+. AAA game development has been identified as one environment where crunch time and other working pressures that negatively affect the employees are particularly evident. <laughs> <laughs> Related terms The console video game industry lacks the equivalent of a B-movie, made for TV, or direct-to-video scene. However, games with very low production costs that are not critically well received are sometimes referred to as bargain bin titles. Topic: Triple A+. The term Triple A+ 
has been used by independent video game company CD Projekt in an attempt to promote their new content as being of a very high quality, despite being technically an indie game. Additionally, the term has been used with a different meaning to figuratively describe AAA games with additional methods of revenue generation, generally through purchases in addition to the cost of the base game. In 2016, GameIndustry.biz described AAA Plus games as products that Combine AAA production values and aesthetics with software as a service SaaS principles to keep players engaged for months or even years. In general use, the term AAA Plus may refer to a subset of AAA games that are the highest selling or have the highest production values. Topic Triple I. Triple I or Triple I has been used to refer to independently funded games, see indie game, that meet an analogous quality level in their field, i.e., indie games that are relatively high budget, scope, and ambition. Topic. See also. Blockbuster mentality. Nintendo seal of quality. Shovelware.